Okay guys, so I'm in the shop again today. Um, we're gonna get working on this little creature we're creating, little Frankenstein sled. Um, wanted to show you a couple little items that we're working on real quick. First off, we have lights. So now, we can come in here, sit down on our couch. I can grab this switch here and it'll control this backlight. It'll go clear off there. Or on the front lights, I can do the dimmer next to it and control them. They're plenty bright. And also, as you guys remember, we got a three-way switch here. That'll turn it on and off. And we've got one over here on the other side for the other fishing buddy. Boom. So you catch a fish and lights on. Lights, camera, action. As with any project, you kind of do things and you wish you could do, be able to do them over again. This is no exception on this one. I kind of wanted to tie these skis in better to the, to the wall section. So I've got some big T40 screws. I'll show you putting some in. They're so big, they bought them out my drill that shuts off on me. So I got the WD-40 out and seems to do okay now, but I'm even feeling the drill right now. It's still pretty warm from a few minutes ago. So I'll show you punching one of them in. And I just wanted to tie, like I say, this bottom plate into the uh, skis as far down as we could go, just for security. So you know, those trails are pretty bumpy. So I'll show you what we're doing here. These bad boys here, pretty long screw there. Boy, they're dang near a foot long, 10, 12 inches. And I've uh, pre-drilled these because it was splitting these, so you gotta pre-drill that first board. That's just a spacer board so that I can get it down without touching bottom. So, I mean, that gets us clear down there. Okay, we got that started. Now I'm gonna shoot a little WD-40 down here so the threads can get saturated. That seems to help quite a bit. And man, oh man, <laughs> that should tie things together, I'm thinking, boys and girls. I'm telling you, that motor's a hot enchilada. Oh yeah, that's gotta make things more solid. Okay. In the last video, we kind of hinted at this, and it's turned out pretty nice. Shoot this up, throw a pin in there, throw a pin in there. Now we got a little headroom. So not too shabby, not too shabby. <laughs> so I'm going to run out to the router and uh, get some of these panels ready to nail up. I've been dreading it, haven't been wanting to do that, but you got to do it. If you want to start at point A and get to point B, you got to do what's in between. So I'm going to go do that next. Okay guys, so I'm working on the backer here on this TV. I'm gonna use some plumber's tape, pulley iron, to kind of really beef it up. We're not just hanging it on the wall, we're hanging it on the wall of a moving object. So, most of you guys probably know this little trick. But, uh, you can cut this with tin snips, of course. But if you don't have tin snips laying around, just get your measurement. Get your measurement. 
and grab a big hole and bend it. And then you take your fingers, just work it back and forth. Cuts it right in two, no sweat. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. So I'm gonna, I took some screws out that were holding up the stand and we're gonna replace them with uh, some of this plumber's tape. Just for extra security. Okay, so this stuff can be pretty sharp. So I'm just gonna put a little tape on it. Couple of wraps. And then I'm gonna follow it with some uh, heat shrink tubing. Cause you know, last place we wanna get cut is on the lake. So I'll take a ounce of prevention. An ounce of prevention here could be better than a lot of pounds of cure. So now we'll take this heat shrink tubing, put that over there. Over there. And we'll hit her. Oh yeah, that makes me feel better, so that's good. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Okay, and then we'll fold them up. I'll tip that over, fold that over, and then I'll tuck it in. Fold it over, tuck it in. Okay, so the other day I screwed up and carried this TV by this one bolt, snapped it off, or snapped the backer behind it. But I think we got it to bite with a little TLC. So I'm just throwing these washers on here, dropping them in the hole. And we'll just kind of see if we can come up with a mount. I'm going to make it hinge on the top so that I can get in there and read what I'm hooking up to what um, as far as your USBs and your HDMI's, RCA's, etc. So don't want to have to guess on that. So we'll just throw that down. I was just sick when I broke that but I think we're gonna end up being okay. Guess I better follow the lines on this TV when I tighten this so we have a chance of being level. Looks good. Okay guys, so here we are. Gonna slam this on real quick. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw carriage bolts in here. Just for giggles. And we'll throw a level on it. Get it close. Okay, so there's that. Hinge it out there for access. And I'll put some pins at the bottom so that it won't dance around when we travel. Okay, so we got a level there. Remember we got a backer behind here. We're gonna throw a screw, a drill bit through that. It's just a two by four turned this way. Dullest bit in the box. Okay. Uh, I'm getting on for this. Two carriage bolts, they ain't going anywhere. So we'll go suck them up on the other side. Okay, so I don't have a long enough bit, but I'm just gonna use a Forstner bit here. Forstner bit. And make it work. 
So now we've got a long enough bit. I like it. I'm backing myself up with some vice grips on the carriage itself. Nice to have a helping hand. Perfectamundo. Might want to reinforce this one with a couple more screws too, just for giggles. Yeah, gotta feel better about that. I'm gonna rob this hinge and split it apart and use it to help me hook the TV to the wall. So I'm just ground I ground off one of the ends of it. We'll pop the pop the pin and uh We'll use it for a different application. So basically I'm going to screw this to the wall with those two holes and then I'm going to in inject or insert this pin with holes in it that I can put a cotter in and that will go through my board. I'll push the TV against the wall, pin it and when I want to tilt the TV Using the hinge on top to access the panel, we'll be able to do that, no sweat. Okay, so we'll hold our TV up there real quick. And if you remember, we've got a backer board right in here in this area. So I'm gonna pop a hole real quick. Okay, we'll go one on the other side. Good, now we're gonna lift this up out of the way. And we will take our previous hinges like so. And I know there's a stud right there and a backer there, so I'm going to angle that. Same thing, we know there's a backer there, a pie, and a stud on the left. We'll drop our TV down and see how good that works. Okay, there we have it. I'll go grab some okay. pins. Simple as putting a pin in right there. And same with the other side. We are locked and loaded. That ain't going anywhere. Knock on wood. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to call it a video this time here. Um, now's the time to put on my thinking cap again and start thinking about center consoles. I want to do some recessed shelving in here possibly so you can put some tackle boxes maybe back here. Um, some cabinets over here. I'm going to put a little shelf above the Mr. Heater so we can dry gloves and hats. Um, underneath us here we're going to have a place for a minnow tank and also rod holders behind me. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be thinking this through. I want to get a nice center console. We've talked about it before, the drink holders are important to me. And uh, we'll, we'll make stuff that will hold your spikes, like a little insulated uh, bait holders. We'll just be able to plug those in different places around the, the shack. I'm going to have magnetic strips for forceps and used hooks, whatnot. Um, all sorts of things to think about. Um, I do have some UV lights coming that we're going to go around the perimeter with. That way we can fish in the dark. 
and we can light up our rod tips, bobbers, so we'll even be able to uh, light up our fishing line with the UV lights. And uh, so far so good though, I'm totally happy. Um, like I say, there's a few things I'd change if I could do it over again, but it's a great little project. I'm really enjoying it. About warmed me out today. But uh, it's like we got a little John Wayne on the TV, so we'll uh, I'm gonna put on my thinking cap, like I said, and we're gonna watch a little John Wayne. So, life is good. Life is good, boys and girls. Feel like a bomb went off in my shop. All this, all this uh, mess I've been making, but we'll get it out of here shortly and clean it up and uh, get my ha get my boy happy with me. He likes to play basketball out here, and I'm in his way. So, thanks for joining me on this one. Um, we will get busy, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming along and thanks for all the support. If you do have any ideas, shoot them my way. Uh, still got time, so appreciate it.